Quran Sahana Channel The last time na nag-share ako regarding Photoshop 101, I shared with you guys how you can change background under 5 minutes. what's happening but we can control ourselves during this pandemic we have time to rest grow explore new things and learn new things that's why i took this chance to share with you guys this i believe a very helpful basics in photo editing hey what's up it's hannah elaine and i am finally back after a month, kasi nagpahinga lang ako actually, pero in-enjoy ko masyado, so my apologies, but let me just put it out there to those who wanted to be productive as well, pero gustong gusto nyo mag -rest. go on, take a rest, it's not bad to take a rest, but it's really hard to be productive, lalo na if you're pagod or unmotivated, kaya give time for yourself, that's what we call self-care. In this video, I will be sharing with you guys how you can change your outfit into formal attire or what they call in layman's term, parang formula na shadow, but nonetheless, as change clothes. At the end of this video, I will also be sharing with you guys how to put name tag below the photo. This will be very helpful for resumes, college applications, and such events that will require you to give them a formal ID picture. Also, I saw on my feed na parang there are schools na nag-require sa online classes na ID picture mo yung nakalagay sa icon. So, para hassle free ka and imbis na lumabas ka pa para magpa-ID pic, tas pag nagpatay ka pa 1, 2, 3, okay, smile! Tas isa lang pagpipilian mo, kaya if you want din na mas madaming shots ang mapagpipilian mo, this vid will be of great help sa yo. But if you haven't watched the basics, yes, basics, yung fundaments ng pag-edit ng ID pic, click the I button up here and I'll also leave the link on the description box. And ngayon, if you wanna know how you can transform this photo into this photo, just keep on watching. First things first, in this video, the keys I indicated are for Windows. Just remember, for Windows users, we use Control Key, and it's equivalent to Command Key for Mac users. The first thing you're gonna do is to search through your browser the attire you want to change into as. Okay, let me explain it ng mas malino. Find an attire template online that you want to put onto your photo. Download it in as much as possible. Look for transparent background. But sometimes you really fall into a trap wherein the background will be like that gray white checkered thingy. You know what I'm saying? But Hannah, the clothes I want to change into doesn't have transparent background. How can I change it? That's not a problem. Have you watched my first Photoshop episode? If yes, you can proceed watching this. If no, click the I button up here para you can catch up. Yes, catch up. Going back, you can transform it into a transparent background by following the steps I've shared on my first Photoshop Basics 101 What's So video. If you already watch it, this will be quite easy teasy for you. Open the file in Photoshop, then follow the steps I did on the first episode up until the refine edge thingy. After you've set the refine edge, add another layer which is always set as transparent. Then put the new layer below the layer of the suit is what you can see on the screen. Then select the layer of the clothes and press the backspace key. Then save as PNG, you're done! So 
So going back to the process, I already have a closet here, a range of attire templates. Yes, level up na ang dressing games natin ngayon, ibang labanan na to, tumatanda ka na. Char, ang corny ko to. Now that you have your chosen attire, it's time, it's time to change your outfit. Drag the suit file into the photo, then we adjust the clothes by pressing Ctrl key and T ng sabay. By that, you can adjust the length and width ng layer by stretching the corners. Hold Shift key pag in stretch mo yung layer. Nagsistay lang to sa original dimensions nito and it wouldn't look like it's banat. Just an advice, usually okay naman na yung clothes online, hindi mo na kailangang banatin yung damit. Be careful kasi minsan it's either masyadong malaki yung ulo for the damit or mas malaki yung damit kesa sa ulo. In this stage, dito usually ma-encounter ang complications or hitch but that is not a problem. First nating aayusin is yung sumobrang damit inside. I'm gonna introduce to you Cologne to right here. I pressed Alt key, then may lumabas na circle with cross inside it. I-click mo kung saang area ng neck yung pinakamalapit sa skin tone mo sa top ng dress na sumobra, then release the Alt key para mapatch yung sumobrang damit ng skin mo. Now, if yung pagkakatake ng photo mo is my shadow na natira sa skin, like mine, that is not a problem. Same lang din na tool ginamit ko. Clean ko lang yung shadow. Another is yung lumagpas naman, yung outfit one mo, below the new outfit. Using clone tool, so white background ko naman kinopi yung ipapatch para makompress pa loob or matago yung sumobrang damit. The next thing we're gonna address is yung space near the cuello na halatado talagang edited. I'll zoom it in so you can see. Kita niyo yung space na yun na may black. Ipapatch natin siya ng cloth ng cuello para magbuka talaga siya ng cuello. Sorry, I'm a bit OC, pero kung may mga OCs din out there, eto yung hinahanap niyong part siguro kung masyadong maluwag yung temet. Using smudge tool, Para din tong clone, pero from the word itself, smudge, the distribute or hihilain mo lang yung part na gusto mo para maipatch dun sa space. But make sure na mukhang kwelyo pa rin yung look. Then again, you may adjust the clothes para i-fit mo lalo sa neck mo yung color nung suit na pinatong mo. Then, we are done. Now, when it comes to adding name tag, super dali lang nito. Hindi mo na kailangan gawin pa sa docs. Pwede mo na rin i-insert here sa Photoshop. Using shape tool, make sure na square yung nakaselect. Set the fill to white and the stroke to black. And I set it to 5. Depende naman sa inyo yung thickness and depende rin kasi sa pixels or size ng image nyo. Then, stretch it from the weight. Let me put endpoints para mas madaling ma-explain. So, this is point A, point B, point C, and point D. Ang babanggitin ko lang naman is point A and point B. So, extra lang sila point C and B. From point A, make sure na nandun talaga siya nakasagad sa mismong point. Then, stretch it papuntang point D. Make sure din na it's on both ends. Hindi sobra, hindi ko lang, kundi sakto lang sa mga end point. Now, adjust mo na lang para sumakto sa desired width and height mo. Here's a tip. If masyadong mahaba ni mo, babaan mo yung height ng shape. Then, pag maikli ni mo, I'll be mentioning it along the way on how to fit it in the shape. But first, Let's proceed on how to put your name itself. Proceed to your text tool or just simply type T. Then tulad ng ginawa mo sa box kanina, ganun din gagawin mo sa text. I stretch mo from point A to point D. Then type your name. I used one de Cruz here pero di ko yan name because default name na yun lagi. Pero syempre, pag sayo yung name mo talaga ilagay mo sa pick mo. Then, 
press Ctrl key and T para ma-adjust mo yung size or mabanat, stretch, compress, expand mo yung text para sa Magdasa Square. Then that's it. Save your file and you're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're all staying safe during this pandemic. I hope I help you somehow. And this is one of my ways to help you guys. Although I am not a pro, but I hopefully I help you guys through this bit. So if you're not yet subscribed into my channel, or if you want to see more of me, definitely click that subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to add or follow me on my social media accounts, I will leave them here on the screen and on the description box. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Goodbye!